Good morning, Memorial Presbyterian Church family and friends. I pray everybody is doing well. It is a blessing to be with you this morning. I wanted to reach out um, with exciting news. Um, it is with excitement and uh, honoring of the Holy Spirit that we as a community um, enter into a, an opportunity that's been placed before us. We, uh, about two weeks ago, actually a little bit less than two weeks ago, I got an amazing phone call um, of someone who had gotten an amazing phone call. Reverend Ruth Santana Grace had received a phone call from a colleague that she trusts and loves and finds um, incredibly wise that has suggested that she consider running for moderator of the General Assembly for the Presbyterian Church USA. And uh, she shared when she called me um, in my phone call that that was a, a stomach churning but Holy Spirit invitation. And she continued on the road of discernment with those who are closest to her. And in her discernment process, she felt called to have a uh, someone to run with. And um, in the process of discerning with people that she trusts, my voice, my name, my personhood came up. And although we had never met each other in the flesh, um, we clearly uh, had a knowing of each other in the spirit because when she did call me with this invitation to consider um, running for um, co-moderator or a vice moderator or some iteration of moderatorial standing together, um, from that conversation two weeks before now, uh, we have stepped into the space of discerning and listening. Um, and a huge part of her discernment in our discernment uh, as we talked is that our primary context, hers at the Presbytery of Philadelphia, where she is executive presbyter, um, a general presbyter, and me at Memorial Presbyterian Church, our communities um, if we were to be called to this, this would not be our individual calls, um, but this would be communal calling. Um, and she and her team had already began the process of discerning what that would mean for the Presbytery of Philadelphia. And yesterday in a unanimous vote, they stood and uh, they had a meeting, a, a called uh, Presbytery meeting, and voted unanimously uh, to endorse her as the um, as a candidate to be General Assembly uh, co-moderator or moderator. Um, and in that space, she shared that I was the voice that she was feeling called to and we were feeling called together to run together, um, if the way be made clear. Uh, and what that means is if the community that is Memorial Presbyterian Church feels called for me to be on this journey, my primary call is to be the pastor of Memorial Presbyterian Church. And I want to do that with the fullness of what it means to show up. Uh, and a part of the vows that we take and our calling is to also be a colleague among colleagues and to serve the wider church. And honestly, I feel called to stand as um, co-moderator for the General Assembly. I've previously been selected back in August as a commissioner. At the same time, it was the timing in which um, our own clerk of session is also uh, Joyce Woodard. Dr. Joyce Woodard is also um, has been called and to serve as a General Assembly commissioner, which is one of the requirements in order to run for a General Assembly um, moderator. And so it is with that spirit of wanting to discern together uh, how this would navigate. It is a um, volunteer position. It is uh, a, a approximately, um, the, the way it's written is about 10 hours worth of work as the moderator for one person. So we're estimating five to 10 hours worth of work uh, somewhere in that range. Um, maybe less on some weeks, maybe more on others. Um, but a sharing of our time uh, in ministry 
to include uh, the work of being, uh, to be available at least, to be um, for this work of General Assembly Moderator. One key element, of course, is that the Holy Spirit, like all of the call process for which we will share when we have our installation on the 24th of April, all of the call processes in our denomination are built with the space of communal discernment. And um, a part of that, of course, as well, would be the election by the General Assembly um, commissioners to be the moderator. So this is a a time of stepping forward to be a candidate, to step forward to be a pair of people with a particular platform. Our platform and our sense of call is to witness um, with joy and humility um, what it means to celebrate the things that God is calling us to do together. And that starts with the caring of our congregations. And it ends with, as a denomination, a continued caring of our congregation. So our theolo the places that we're lifting up on how we do that together in all of the councils and ways that we around, are, uh, arrange ourselves is around a theology of the table, a theology of flourishing, and a theology of holy vocation. And I, I'm excited that the session has approved us gathering for a um, space of discussion, um, discernment, and if the way be made clear, endorsement for this call. Um, yeah, it's an exciting time. And I am excited to be in this space with Memorial. You all are incredible and in the same remarkable way of connecting uh, in a short amount of time that has been present here at Memorial. It also has been happening in this new relationship um, with Reverend Ruth Santana Grace. And we are at the end of the day, beginning of the day, committed to the joy and celebration of what it means to be the body of Christ and would love to do this in for me, it's important to do this with a sense of support from Memorial Presbyterian Church. So with that in mind, um, you are invited to a congregational meeting, a special called congregational meeting for the purpose of discerning and discussing uh, what this opportunity would mean for the congregation and discerning and discussing. And if the way be made clear, voting uh, on in the endorsement of me to run for General Assembly co-moderator. It's exciting and it feels like a holy space of being available. And so I'm excited to discern with you all um, if you all are sensing the same. I hope that you have an amazing day. God bless you. Take care.